trailer packed up, ready to go. I'm excited. Stephanie's excited. I know you guys are excited. Let's go see the new house. OSG, are you ready to see your new home? God, I'm so ready. I'm ready for this train to go. You ready? You ready Let's to go? Rock. All right. Let's roll out, guys. Got a perfect sponsor for today's video, too, Brooklyn Bedding. But we'll get to that here in a minute. We actually don't have a super far drive, and we're going to be doing a lot of the moving ourselves. Let's roll. some rocking on the front porch guys this is the new front porch of the new house it's awesome so much shade you know coming from the tree house we love our trees with the shade we have our rocking chairs on the back porch we got the deck you know i think we live outside more than we do inside oh i know this is so, where i'm gonna be living right here <laughs> that's always an element we like to keep in mind with the house but in today's video we're gonna be touring the inside but come on in let's check it out y'all ready come on in here we go. Look at this beige paint. Woo, look at this dark cave. I'm seeing an elk up there looking down on us. So, yep, it, OSG has, um, giving you my this is it. This is it, guys. When I got my elk mounted uh, a couple years ago, literally could not put it in our house. Uh, it's been sitting at the, the Guggen HQ. Uh, for so long, finally, we have a wall that uh, is big enough to put an elk, and that's going to be greeting us as we come in and, and go to bed. Actually, the bedroom's up there. A little bit bigger than what we have, but it's just uh, it's just like bigger rooms, I would say. Um, you want me to start this way? This is kind of the weird part where it goes it goes into my office or it goes into the bedroom and elk is going to be right here so when i when i'm going to bed i can just like high five him <laughs> maybe pet his nose right here whoa look at all this red that's a lot the red room. whoa i mean i think nick saban owned this house look at this thing she is a is an awesome searcher and finder of, of furniture and things and she found us a king size bed which we've never had before we decided it's time. It's time to upgrade to a king at this house. She found an awesome bed that's a few years old. It's got some scratches. It was like 400 bucks, 500 bucks. I'm like a beautiful, beautiful king bed. And we have a brand new mattress from Brooklyn bedding to put on it. I don't know if I can lift anything else the rest of the day. I was like, maybe let's just stick with a queen because, you know, we'll just, we'll snuggle close. It'll be all good. Yeah, you are snuggling. Let me tell you, I get a little hot. Yeah, right. That's right, y'all, my ocean spoon girl. She is a hot sleeper, and that's why we decided to go with the Brooklyn Bedding Aurora Lux with the Cloud Pillow Top. And Brooklyn Bedding has been in the mattress industry for over 25 years. They're known for top of the line comfort and quality, but without the luxury price tag. And they truly deliver the best sleep ever with mattresses custom made by the best craftsmen in the industry. They offer different firmness options, heights, and dimensions, even non-traditional sizes. So they really have something for everyone. Steph and I decided to go with the medium firmness. I think we're gonna love it, but we get 120 nights to sleep in it. That's right, that's a sleep trial that comes with all their mattresses, along with a 10-year warranty. Once you pick out the mattress you think is right for you on brooklynbedding.com, they're gonna deliver that to you straight to your door for free within the US. Plus, it comes tightly rolled up in a box that is super easy to set up yourself. I'll never forget me and Stephanie's biggest argument ever where we were trying to move a mattress upstairs, and that simply did not happen today because of Brooklyn Bedding's easy packaging. No shouting and no obscene four-letter words occurred. Can I jump on it? Jump on it. Woo! <laughs> oh! I noticed with this Aurora Lux, it is actually cool to the touch. 
And the best part about Brooklyn bedding mattresses is that they are designed, assembled, and shipped from their Arizona factory. The whole family is loving the Brooklyn bedding mattress, and I think you would too. So if you're looking for a new bed, check out brooklynbedding.com. You can click on the links below and get 30% off your mattress with my code. Shout out to Brooklyn Bedding for sponsoring today's video. And now on with the tour of the rest of the new house. That's crazy. This isn't even real. This isn't even real stone. This is what's called faux stone. It looks just like stones, but it's like half the weight or something. I don't even know. It's probably less than that. These are hollow. But spent. yeah, I mean, it's, it's still pretty heavy, but it's not like bringing in full stone kind of deal. So I absolutely love having a, having the fireplace. I wish it was like a, a see-through or whatever, you know, mm -hmm. but anyway, they were about the fireplaces for sure. Hey, that's okay. Cause we never even had one. They, we didn't have one in our first house. We didn't have one at the tree house. Now we're so making now up we got it. three. So on the third house, now we have uh, three. <laughs> three chimney so let's take them outside okay so this is this is awesome come on in it is so quiet out here it sounds like there's, there's no sounds except for the trees you know you know what's mainly different too it's probably not even registering with you what there's no airplanes no airplanes you're right so at, at our other house we live in in the flyway uh, which is fantastic trying to get to the airport and you're late and you got rod tubes and you got a bunch of tackle and you just need to get there to make your flight uh, and sometimes you're like five minutes late and they don't check you in uh, but well I could I could get by pretty close like 20 minutes away from the airport now we're gonna be much farther away we're not out in the boonies boonies but we're, we've gotten out a little bit maybe have the football game on with speakers kind of like flowing out here and you're out here you know just I don't know, just getting in the outdoors, listening to the breeze through the trees, watching a deer back there. Oh, and there are deer. There are some deer roaming around these parts. So let's take you downstairs, which connects up here. Uh, oh, we didn't show them that, the bathroom. They don't need to see the bathroom. It's just where you poop and stuff. Main living room, let's see what's going on here. Look at this, the stone arch. The things that they featured in the home which we actually didn't think that we were gonna like but honestly it brings so much up like cool. i feel like it's like the texas hill country that i, yep. I don't know that we you love an austin girl yes you like you like that limestone i like limestone hey, too. that's it's where cool. we met that's actually where we got married that's right so bring a little yeah. bit of limestone mm -hmm. in the mix what's not limestone is the fireplace Terrible. it's ugly it's not even look at it yeah don't even look. don't even look at these curtains <laughs> <laughs> these are coming down <laughs> We're getting, we're getting first takes here, but this is where we'll be eating our dinners, cooking up our deer meats, yes. speaking of deer meats, and the, how are we gonna cook them up here in the kitchen? We gotta... That eventually might be something different, but this is what we got OSG's to OSG's got big plans for, for the stove area, but... The kitchen's uh, not bad. I love it. I, I love the, the kitchen. I love the, ca I love the cabinets. I love the natural wood, guys. That's where I'm... I'm all about that. Oh, look, they even left Little us some cabinet. recipes for a whiskey, a whiskey sauce. Ooh, oh. No, it's a whiskey sour. I'm yeah, sorry. this is this is the whiskey cabinet. See, Ooh. I uh, the, the guy that lived here, I'm just going to say I like his taste mm -hmm. because he's got uh, he's just got some things around the house. You could tell he he put them in there because that was his that was his man space. And he had his he had his little man touches inside of the house. So it's a good mix mixture of masculine and feminine. We appreciate that. All right, and here we go. I don't know what this room is. I've always been confused about dining rooms and yeah. you know, we didn't have this option at, at uh, our other house. But this, I think this is gonna be like a- This is gonna be like the kids' craft room. Kids' Homework area, room, discovery room. room. I've got great plans for the pantry. Half of this is just gonna be like a mud room. Have you guys ever been in, I've never had this size of a pantry. What do I do with this? I know, you're kind of dumbfounded right now. I am, half of this is just gonna be a mud room, like a mud room wall with uh, like individual stalls. And then this is just gonna be storage for pantry items. Oh, it's gonna be amazing. I can't wait, I can't wait. Little nook over here to, you know, do some homework. Let's check out the garage. This is, this is where I'm gonna live, guys. Are you gonna live in there? This is my space. So th that's, that's a secret room we just discovered. 
we'll uh we'll give him a tour of that later it's way bigger than uh what we're used to we got big ceilings 10 foot ceilings in here which is nice that's a laser it's a laser i don't I, I to be honest i don't know what that's for they've got lasers pointing around here i believe that my vexus will fit in here we just got to we got to see how that's going to go down. But the math of uh, the tape measure seems to favor that it will fit in here. It actually left some peg space up on the walls, a little work board. So that's fantastic. We'll have a, a meat refrigerator over here with all the deer meat and fish. We've got a little, uh, this won't be a cleaning station, but you know, come in after a dangle. Got some dirty hands with some crappie goo on them. Just Give them a wash right there. Hey, hey, this could definitely be a fish washing station. Look at this. Isn't this like a pull out thing? Guess you could. Yeah, look at that. Guess you could. You know Absolutely. what? That's probably going to be my fish cleaning station. I park, I come in here, I park the boat, we get them out, of the, we get, it, get them out, clean them up, turn them into crispies. Wah bam. Doggy door over here, you know, in case we get a dog, which is probably going to be in the works. Rest in peace, Winston, Winston, our old dog. You know, our other house, we, we just didn't have a, a fence. We didn't have like a yard that was suitable for a short mug. You oh, know? we had too many stairs. This wasn't ideal for a, a short mug dog or any, any dog, really. All right, so that is the garage. Let's head on over to, well, this is gonna be, a, <laughs> we think it might be Emmy's well. or kids, some kid's room or guest room. It's, this is like, a master basically this is a master bedroom for one child is what it's going to be but we're going to have two beds we're going to have two beds in here justin does not think that they should go against the wall what i want to know okay. in the comments okay this is what i'm picturing two beds against the wall against the windows when you first walk in you okay. see the beds i think i think they're seeing the symmetry here yeah mm -hmm. yeah. yeah i mean instead of having the two beds against this wall because then one sticks out, then you gotta go all the way around this way to get to the other bed. All right, you've made your point. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Let's show them the offices where the video creation is gonna take place for now. Yeah. You've graduated to your own built-ins. I mean, it's nice. It's a beautiful office. Really nice. You got these beautiful stained deals in here. So yeah, it's pretty much an office. <laughs> this part, guys. This part right here, this is my favorite part of the house. You guys are gonna love it. <sighs> this is the boys' den, okay? That's where, we're, that's where we're at. I think I'm gonna put your jerseys right here. Oh, nice, the old fishing jerseys. All right, check this out. Look that's at like, this. Welcome to the man cave that Justin will never leave. <laughs> Fireplace, guys. I mean, we're gonna do white tails up there. Maybe put a bobcat on mm -hmm. top, you know what I'm saying? No. And look at the, uh, the look at the floor. night, the wood floor, just beautiful, yes, beautiful outdoorsy elements. Why we got, is this not downstairs? I wish it was. I, it's that's we're gonna have to work on that. We got a nice cedar. Uh, what do you call these things? A mantle. Yeah, a mantle. You got a nice cedar mantle, and this is a real wood fireplace right here. So stack up, stack up the wood. We're wired up for um, surround sound, and uh, this is gonna be, you know, this is where some animal heads are gonna go. F college football, I mean, come on, there it is right there. You, you know you know what I'm saying. I know you guys are envisioning it, it's, it's gonna be sick. And we come over here, we can do a, we can do a coffee or a little whiskey bar. Mm -hmm. Both. Right here. Okay, so we've just got the full program going on in the man cave. Absolutely love it. This really sold me on this house. Refrigerator right here, so we keep our, our cold pops and then got a little closet, you know. That's pretty much that. <laughs> but this is this is my favorite room. A lot of a lot of windows too, let in some of the natural elements and uh it's a, it's just a beautiful yard. There's a lot of trees, which we love trees. Are you? I are you thinking? I am. I'm like my my wheels are spinning. I'm like so many. I want to do built-ins in every room. Oh my gosh! Like, okay. How many more built-ins? You're gonna give me a lot of work. That's what I you're know. gonna do. Mm -hmm. This is probably gonna be little little Ben's room. Little Ben's room. This is the closet. Big old closet. 
Guys, this is about as big as my college dorm room right here. Gosh. Uh, and I think this is where we're gonna have we're gonna have some wall of cam camo. Probably do my camo with his clothes mm -hmm. in here. Um, just put his toys in here. Um, All his trucks. Yeah, lot, I mean, there's a lot you could do in here. And then there's another door right here, a little hidden unit, and you come out here to storage, which we've had very little of. And this thing goes wow. all the way back here. Oh, wow. What? I haven't even seen this part. It keeps going? Yeah, there's a toilet lid. Why Look is at there that. a toilet lid? I don't know. I don't want that. There's the screens. Like, it keeps going. Yeah, it goes all the way back wow. around there. Wow. So, you know, your Christmas tree, your... Uh, I need that shot back up here. Whatever you got going on. Yeah, it's a little dirty. We're going to have to uh, clean it up. And this actually goes down into the garage. There's a ladder right here. It goes down into the garage. So, fantastic. And this is something really different that um, I'm not sure how we feel about. But there is a laundry room up here. How do you feel about it? I originally did not like it. I think I'm... Starting it's growing to? on me. Just because our bedroom is up here. So it's like, why not? Just, I don't know what this is. It's like they patched something. Yep, some hole. Some hole. Some sort, but <laughs> it's, got, it's got propane for a dryer, and then you come over here and get another fish cleaning station. See? Taking a little white tail sausage break. It is time now to head outside and look at the yard. Bam, 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 bam. Oh yeah, so excited. Oh, you are so excited. I gotta get my shoes on. You, this. Stephanie has not even <laughs> been in the yard. How crazy. We've only been over here two times. And but the first, both times. I, I just, I, when I, I was like exploring the yard. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Love it, love it. <laughs> and we're, we're coming from, you know, basically being um, on a hill, not being able to throw a ball or kick a ball for the kids to having flat grass lawn. And uh, that is gonna be a big change for me as far as mowing goes. I have a push mower, and when you guys see the size of this lawn, you're gonna be like, uh, you ain't getting it done with that. You guys have seen the internals, you've seen the man cave, but here we are in the backyard. This is the back patio, this is where we're gonna be doing some chilling and grilling. Put the old smoker over here, you know, some tables. The only thing is it's, it's direct sun, you know. We're used to living around a bunch of trees. We have shade all the time. Not the case out here. We do have a couple of trees in the backyard, but I'm thinking chicken coop scenario going out here. Got a nice fence for a dog. You can let them running around. And we can also uh, let the chickens kind of just roam around in this back space and put them up in the evenings. Woo, it's a little toasty right now. It is mega toasty it's right now. It's October and it feels like 100 degrees. It, well, it's because it almost is. It's Woo. 97. Wow. Uh, Stephanie is thinking about gardens. She's thinking about flowers. She's thinking about rockscapes. All sorts of magnificent scenery. It's just like a scenery. slate. That's how it was when we moved in the treehouse. It I was. Built botanical gardens back there. It was. I we mean, will we bring did it start from scratch. Gardens here. We'll make it happen. Well, uh, we're coming from like an acre to a few acres, and um, a lot of a lot of it is grass, but there's a good chunk of it that is woods as well. Yes, I'm I'm talking woods, and I haven't even been back there. We're gonna explore that on another video. See what see what is coming coming to the woods. See what's coming out of the woods. You know what I mean? I haven't even been over here. You haven't even seen this. Our very own oh backyard pond. Look, there's already like little dog holes. Oh my gosh, Emmy and Ben are just gonna flip out. They're are gonna you get their little stuff nets. in there. I'm seeing a lot of like, oh look, there's a baseball. There's a softball. I don't know. I just see a lot of like little tiny. It looks like there's life. Yeah, like minnow things. Like watch if you like watch. Minnow things. There's probably little frogs. Oh, there's something. There's a cricket. A cricket. <laughs> oh, there's a big banana spider. Oh yeah, well, look at that bad boy. Yeah, you don't want to mess with him. So many little flower. I've noticed a ton of bees out here. Lots of bees. Oh, what if we could put some bees out? But look at this, guys. This is, this is like, this is dream come true to have our own backyard pond. Now it's not very big. It's not. It's but... not, but I mean, 
it's like a cast like a on a cast. really good cast i could cast all the way across and make it but this is uh oh man that scared me something was something was tickling my leg hairs right there uh this is good good size i don't know if there's any fish in here but here's the, here's a really cool thing about this house it's on a well which is different than what we're used to we have we have well water and there's a there's a pump that pumps this baby full of water and there's a little float right there so i don't know how deep it is i don't know what species are in here if there are any i can guarantee you we're gonna put something in there man i, I see it you adirondack chairs over here are you feeling a little a little adirondack chair skate by the pond some little surface doobling here but i don't know if it's surface doobling there's 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 definitely minnows of some sort i wonder if there's bluegill in here man the kids fishing for gills look at this look at this guys the pond the house the beautiful lady we just need our kids over here we wanted to kind of come over here for ourselves for the first time also oh oh my gosh and you know what's you know what's over here too it's a bodark tree ah. it's a bodark tree guys i've i've uh it's been a little dream of mine to have a bodark tree oh oh here we go You know what? Uh, I see a deer track for sure, but that one kind of looks hoggy. Oh no. It looks a little hoggy. Mm. Definitely yeah, right some there. tracks. Oh yeah, pecans. We must have a pecan tree on, on, the, uh, on the property. That's kind of fun to say. A pecan, pecan tree, tree on, on the property. property. That is oh, so fun. Oh my goodness, look at this, guys. You know these kids are going to be all up in there. Yeah, we gotta we gotta watch out for the moccasins for sure. Holy cow! There's that big boat arc. It's just leaned over. You see, there's like a trail. Is that? Oh yeah, from animals. Somebody or animals. Animals. Animals are here. It's gonna be cool. Imagine, babe, looking out the the back bedroom window. Imagine looking out the back bedroom window, sipping your coffee, and you see a white tail coming up. Drink out of the pond. And you're like, oh man, I really want to throw a buzz bait right now. I'm just gonna walk down there and throw a buzz bait. That's not what I think, but okay. <laughs> That's what I was just thinking. So, so cool, guys. I hope you're pumped. I hope you're pumped. I We're gonna have some fun here. Try. Yeah, you can see where the water normally comes in here. I don't know if that's from the creek or the pond and when it overflows. Look at this mega hackberry. This is a hackberry. Whoa. This is what I was gonna tell you. Like, they're very rough, uh, rough trees, they have a rough bark. That's a big old hackberry. Oh, you can put a swing on that. Just let the oh, swing right here. 100 baby. And so this this actually goes back way far, like way far. There's a creek way back there, and uh, I'm yet to explore it. So you have to stay tuned, guys. Another bow dark right here. Another bow dark. Look at this. Look at this. Oh my gosh, this is like a perfect bow tree. I wouldn't want to cut it down, but it's actually straight. It's actually straight, so we're gonna get some crab apples hopping. Guys, I'm so pumped, I'm so excited. My ultimate vision, yeah. my ultimate dream. OSG knows, she knows what's up. A oh, barn. A barn. A workshop back here. That's it. That's life. It's happening, babe. It's ours. It's happening. It's ours. This might be the last. I tell you guys, moving is a nightmare. Ah. It's a nightmare. There's something ducks about it. Ducks by the pond. Oh, she really wants ducks. I do. I she want really some does. Ducks. She wants some ducks. I want so. some wild ducks that just live there. I don't want to take care of them. Okay. <laughs> we'll see what if I can call them in. But anyways, thank you guys for uh, tuning in to our house tour. Uh, don't forget to check out Brooklyn Bedding and their discount. It's linked down below. And we're just getting started over here. So subscribe to the channel to see more. And we'll see you on the next one.